In this video, we're going to talk about what happens when you post an invoice for that has inventory on the invoice and what it looks like behind the scenes, the debits and credits that QuickBooks creates when you post your invoice with inventory. All right, so I'm gonna go into create invoices here. And again, just select any old customer, okay? I'm gonna choose an item type of inventory. So we're gonna go ahead and choose some door frames here. All right, I can see again, you know, quantities on hand right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and say we're buying two. And the sales rate is $100 each. Again, for this tutorial, I just don't want any taxes bogging down the system there. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark it out of state. So all we're focusing on right now is just the inventory portion of it. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and say save for now. All right, gives me all my little pop-ups here. Okay. Now I'm going to click up here where it says journal. This is going to show me the debits and credits behind the scenes that QuickBooks handles for you and kind of help you understand the accounting for this transaction. All right, so first it tells me, you know, it's an invoice type, the date, all the information here. And then we're going to move over to the debits and credits area. I'm going to get rid of some of these columns here and then make some of the other ones larger so we can really understand what's going on. So first things first, the invoice was for $200. So it's going to debit accounts receivable and credit materials income, which means on the balance sheet, accounts receivable is going up, and then on the profit and loss, materials income is going up, okay? But then, since we're dealing with inventory items, there also is a second transaction created by QuickBooks in order to make sure that the inventory is leaving our store and that the proper cost of goods sold is being accounted for. So right here, it's showing the inventory asset is being credited, which means it's going down, and then at the time the inventory goes down, it raises our cost of goods sold. So what this is essentially posting for us, that we had $200 in income and $24 in cost of goods sold for selling this product. Okay. So this is what it looks like behind the scenes anytime you post a transaction with inventory uh, or I'm sorry, post a sales transaction with inventory on it. 